What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zur is back. We're in the tower again, we're on the right side by the hangar and this is week 2 of year 2 so let's see what Zur has for today. So here we go, here's his inventory for the second week of year two. We're starting off with the Legacy Engram. Now once again, don't use your coins on the Legacy Engram if you do have all the year one exotics. This is mainly for collectors or if you want to get a blueprint maybe and you want to get the year one version of something so you can have it in your blueprints. I think that's how it works as well. Um, so it's only going to be primaries if you want to get a primary. And uh, I believe this will not work for stuff like Necrochasm or Vex Mythoclast, but stuff, anything else probably will come out of this. So if you want to get any year one stuff, you can try your luck at this. Uh, next up we have the Ruin Wings year two version for the Titan. This one has heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. Uh, we also have increased intellect and strength. We have increased grenade throw distance and bonus grenade energy on melee hits. And we also have Sniper Rifle for Reloader and Rocket Launcher Reloader. So pretty decent. Uh, at least it has the increased reload speed with Rocket Launchers because you're getting a lot of heavy with this. And also it has the same perk as it did in year one. So pretty decent for PvE especially. And if you're looking for a decent exotic, you can pick this up. For the Hunter, we have the Sealed Ahamkar Grass. This is the new Taking King one. And this one has full strength on it. It also has the special perk which is gain an additional melee charge. Melee damage has a chance to automatically reload your primary weapon. So this is really good with Night Stalker. Gives you that extra charge for your smoke. I really like that. It also has increased discipline and strength. We have decreases melee attack cooldown time which is pretty cool. It also has bonus grenade energy on melee hits and a fusion rifle reloader and a rocket launcher reloader as well so pretty good I actually don't have these so I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up cuz I want one for my hunter for the warlock we have the light beyond nemesis exotic helmet really decent helmet it has the keeper of the pack perk which allows you to revive fallen teammates and be revived faster super supers generate an extra orb so really good perk also the increased strength and intellect we have Inverse Shadow, increased super energy gained from killing minions of the darkness. And also bonus super energy from special weapon kills on minions of the darkness. As well as gain bonus melee energy on orb pickup. So pretty good PvE helmet. Also will be good when Trials of Osiris comes back as well. Finally for the weapon we have the Hawk Moon Year 2 version. It has 11 shots in the magazine, less than it did in year 1. It also still has the Luck in the Chamber perk, as well as the Holding Aces perk, which gives 2 more random bullets in your magazine, bonus damage. So 3 shots in your mag has bonus damage. Still a really solid weapon. I like Hawkmoon a lot. I'm an Xbox player, so I never got to experience Hawkmoon in year 1. I actually did get one in my Engram opening from last week, and I love it. It's pretty good. It's a really solid hand cannon if you're looking for one it's pretty good and he's not selling an exotic engram this week I don't know why I was gonna buy some and actually open it up in this video but I guess not uh, so no engram this week for any armor piece which is kinda junk uh, so you can also buy heavy ammo synth and also there was a hot fix yesterday for three of coins so they did nerf it a little bit where you can't uh, pretty much use it over and over and pretty much farm exotics anymore there is a de there isn't as big of an increase in um, your chances of getting an exotic engram if you rapidly use it in succession is what they said I believe. So basically, you can't farm um, off of those like story mission ultras anymore and try to get exotics off of that. You they want you to use it in strikes and possibly raid as well because the ultras in there uh, you won't be killing as often. There's pretty much only one ultra in strikes. And for the raid bosses, the encounters are separated, so you're not going to be using it as often. So that's it for week two of year two of Zur. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Go pick up those sealed Ahamkar grass for your hunter. And that's about it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.